and welcome to Naked World Podcast, coming to you live from Beijing, the capital city of the People's Republic of China. The objective of this podcast is to uplift, inspire, motivate, and encourage personal growth and introspection. Naked World Podcast is broadcasted twice weekly, every Tuesday and Thursday at 1500 hours, 3 p.m. Beijing time, and published on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, and some major podcast platforms. I'm your host, RJ. The coronavirus pandemic has impacted on all our lives. Some of us have experienced emotional changes like low motivation, anxiety, depression, fatigue, despair, and a general feeling of hopelessness. Sometimes we underestimate or underrate these feelings and even forget it and we withdraw from family, friends or co-workers. Even things like getting up in the morning or washing up seems impossible. Let me ask you a couple of questions. Are you having problems with self-motivation? Have difficulty concentrating or poor memory? Do you feel hopeless, drained, fatigued, exhausted? This is episode 5 of season 1 in our series on personal development and growth. Today we want to focus on the theme, how to increase your positive thinking or how to develop a more positive attitude. Positive thinking or an optimistic attitude is the practice of focusing on the good in any given situation. Research is beginning to reveal that positive thinking is about much more than just being happy or displaying an upbeat attitude. Now, positive thoughts can actually create real value in your life and help you build skills that last much longer. When you are experiencing positive emotions like joy, contentment and love, you will see more possibilities in your life. Positive emotions broaden your sense of possibility and open your mind up to more options. If you are serious about making money online from home, then visit smmenterprisesonline.com smmenterprisesonline.com You're listening to Naked World Podcast coming to you live from Beijing, the capital city of the People's Republic of China. Please follow and like our Facebook page, follow us on Twitter and Instagram, subscribe to our YouTube channel and subscribe to our Naked World Podcast. So we're back. And we want to look at closer, a little bit closer at the benefits of positive thinking. Many studies have looked at the role of optimism and positive thinking in mental and physical health. On a physical level, the benefits of positive thinking include a longer lifespan, a lower chance of having a heart attack, better physical health, greater resistance to illnesses such as the common cold, that's true, lower blood pressure, better stress, stress management, sorry, and better pain tolerance. That is what some of the studies, research, have looked into positive thinking or optimism, have found that on a physical level, the benefits would include. On a mental or spiritual level, they found that, you know, benefits include that you become more creative, you have greater problem solving skills and a clearer thinking. The fact is that if you conscientiously focus on something positive, the power of negative thinking cannot get a foothold in the door. That is what the researchers discovered, that you will also be in a better mood. And you would feel good if you develop optimism or positive thinking. You have better coping skills and also suffer less from depression. Optimistic people actually suffer less from depression. And being a positive thinker keeps you motivated because you have hope. This is one of the better benefits of positive thinking. Because motivation causes action and action causes result. So if you're a positive thinker, you will be better motivated. And we want to look at this issue of motivation later in one of our 
episodes, I think, in the series as well. And if you are a positive thinker and you develop optimism, you make the people around you, you influence them and they become more inspired because you give them hope. You know, giving a positive attitude also influences others around you to look at the brightest side of life as well. So, when we look at positive thinking, it only it does not only have an influence on our physical level, as we indicated that, you know, it influences how our bodies respond to our mental state of mind, but it also benefits us, obviously, on the spiritual side. And especially during this period of COVID, that we've all gone through negative experience, lockdowns and everything that we've experienced, it sometimes could be, can be very difficult to have at this positive environment around you and to think positively. You know, if you go through, uh, especially the things that we had to endure, people not being able to work, not earning an income, not being able to pay your rent or to buy groceries even, we see now, I mean, uh, you know, uh, Thanksgiving in America was celebrated just uh, what's it, a couple of days ago. And you could see people, long queues, queuing for food parcels and stuff like that. So it's, it's difficult to stay positive in this environment with so much that the virus is not only a health problem, it's becoming an economic problem. And now more than ever, we're also discovering that it's also becoming more of a emotional uh, problem people now more and more suffer from depression so what we want to do is we want to create the environment we want to learn more about how do I stay in a positive state of mind and because of the, the period that we go we are going through you need to roll this you need to action this we will need to do something about creating a positive environment creating uh, an optimistic environment despite the gloom and doom around us and that could be can be very very challenging so we want to focus more on learning and finding out what skills what can I do to gain this positive environment I want to look very very deeply and ask you to look and to think with me as you listen to this to make it personal and say yourself to yourself when we now going to discuss how do we get this positive environment around us? Listen very, very closely. Are you interested in doing an online tourism business course? Visit tourismbusinessonline.com tourismbusinessonline.com You're listening to Nakik World Podcast coming to you live from Beijing, the capital city of the People's Republic of China. Please follow and like our Facebook page, follow us on Twitter and Instagram, subscribe to our YouTube channel and subscribe to our Naked World podcast. Now we are back and we want to look at the benefits. We have spoke about the benefits of positive thinking and in the previous segment we identified our positive thinking influence of benefits not only our emotional and spiritual uh, part of our lives but also physically now we want to look at how can we increase positive thinking in our lives and how can we develop a more positive attitude and i want you to listen very very carefully you know anything that sparks feelings of joy contentment and love will do the trick will help us to develop positive thinking let's look at one of the first uh, strategies that we can employ that we can do is first of all to gain control of ourselves and start every day with a positive affirmation. Now, in the past couple of episodes, I'm quite sure if you think back, you would find out that there's something consistent in, consistent in most of the episodes that we cover. Positive affirmations is a very, very critical part of developing our mental uh, strength, I would say, and a positive environment. Let us be kind to ourselves, make a list of the good qualities and believe in them, believe in yourself, believe in these qualities. How you start the morning sets a tone for the rest of the day. This is very important. I'm, I'm speaking from personal experience, not too easy. I've been involved with China now for, what's it, almost, I think this is 21 years. And this is 
a country where things are not normal as per the Western standards. And it's something that I've practiced for myself every day to take control of the day for, for myself here in China, you know, and to set the tone. I tell myself, and it might sound funny, but I'm going to give you my personal tips. You know, it looks funny and it, it <laughs> seems funny, but you know, if nobody's uh, uh, around and you speak to yourself, I start with say the statements, you know, some, even if you feel silly, you say, today will be a good day. Oh, I'm going to be awesome today. You will be amazed how much your day improves. It is up to you to take charge. You know, as I said, here in China, I don't have many foreign friends, mostly Chinese friends, but our mindsets are totally different. So when I need to engage them, they ask me, why are you always smiling? You know, I tell them, listen, my motto is ever joyful, ever joyful. You've got to, I tell myself, today I am going to achieve whatever I need to do. You know, a second tip that I can give you out of my own personal life, congratulate yourself, congratulate yourself. Boost your own morale. Don't leave it to other people. You know, justified praise is a good boost to the morale. Treat yourselves every now and again, especially if you have overcome a problem or you made a personal achievement, you've achieved something personally. Hey, tell yourself, hey, I'm great, man. Don't worry what other people think of you. Motivate and boost yourself. I should, my mind must be scared. All right? Focus on the good things, however small it is. Almost invariably, you're going to encounter obstacles throughout the day. There is no such thing as a perfect day. Ask you me. I will tell you. When you encounter such a challenge, focus on the benefits, no matter how slight or unimportant they seem. A fourth tip, strategy that I employ out of my own life, is find humor in bad situations. Allow yourself to experience humor even in the darkest or most trying situation. Remind yourself that this situation will probably make for a good story later on and try to crack a joke about it. You know, I, I always I, I tell people, I, I my thinking is like I'm, I'm watching movies all the time and if something bad happens and I ask myself, you know, how would if they were like, you know, aliens of outer space looking at us and looking at the situation, what would they be thinking about these, these human beings? And then when I look at it from, say, that perspective, it becomes a comedy. And I look at things and I say to myself, wow, you know, I try to look at it, say, from an alien perspective, when we do the things that we think is normal, you know, that we get all upset about and throw our toys out of the cot. I mean, you know, when you ask yourself, oh, how are the aliens of another life, uh, soul, I mean, uh, being, look at this situation. And funny enough, if we find sometimes you can find humor in very, very bad situations. Try to and learn to be more assertive. Turn failures into lesson, lessons. Stand up for what you believe in. Do not be pressured by others. You aren't perfect. You're going to make mistakes and experience failures in multiple contexts, multiple jobs and with multiple people. Instead of focusing on how you fail, think about what you're going to do next time. Turn your failure into a lesson. Be more assertive as well. Right? And, and put this for you yourself into concrete rules. Another point I want to bring to you, which links up to the very first one when, uh, no, when it comes to personal growth and uh, developing your, your esteem, your own inner being, there is nothing more than self uh, uh, affirmations, as I've said, positive self talk. You know, transform whatever negative self talk you have into positive self talk. Negative self-talk can creep up easily and it's often hard to notice. You, know, you, you might think like things like, I'm so bad at this or I shouldn't have tried this. You know, these thoughts turn into internalized, internalized feelings and might cement your conception of yourself. It really then make you believe these negative feelings, this negative self-talk. You know, our thought processes is basically us think, um, talking to ourselves. You know, when you think all these things, and especially if you're low uh, uh, in motivation, you feel a bit depressed, all these thoughts inside, people can't see you. No, when you catch yourself doing these negative things, stop it. 
and to replace those negative messages, negative uh, thoughts with positive thoughts. Tell yourself, listen, lie. I'm going to transform it. If it's negative, I'm going to replace it with something positive. And another point that we can do, do, do in uh, creating this positive uh, bubble around us, this positive thinking, this optimism, is focus on the present. No? The present, not like today, uh, or this hour, or you know, but this exact moment. If something happens to you, you know, uh, something negative happens to you, say your boss uh, scolds you, or somebody says something negative about you, focus on that exact, mo exact moment and those exact words. And the reason why I'm saying that is in many times we would have experienced you know, ne negative um, actions in the past. And then, when we experience it again, then all that negative feelings of the previous occasion comes into that place. For example, um, you and your husband or you and your wife have an argument and he or she says something to you then. Then your mind brings back the negative connotations to whatever has be, is being said in that moment from something that previously happened. And then you get that negative feeling again. Focus on what she's saying now and try to stay away from what happened in the past. Because most sources of negativity stems from a memory of an event or your imagination of what ha happened and what will happen into the future. So stay focused on the present and say, this is what's being said, and don't link it to what happened in the past. And then, most, not most importantly, I'm, I'm saying, in um, everything is important, I think, let us uh, focus on finding positive friends, mentors, co-workers, your circle of your friends. I'm not talking about Facebook friends, I'm talking real friends. People that you surround yourself uh, with. When you surround yourself with positive people, you'll hear positive outlooks, positive stories, and positive affirmations. <laughs> Ask me. You know, the, the positive words of your friends and those around you will sink in and have effect on your own line of thinking, which then affects your words and contributes to the group as well. Finding positive people to fill up your life can be difficult, but you need to eliminate the negativity in your life before it consumes you. It's easy to just make friends to have, oh, this, this is my friend, that's my friend. If, I think, the homework for us, or for you, is to have to look at people around you and ask yourself, hey, who contributes to the positive environment around me? And start moving away slowly. And it might not be so easy because we tend to just have friends and without analyzing one, does the friendship mean? If it takes away from you, especially from a mental state, move away from it. Do what you can to improve the positivity of others and let their positivity affect you in the same way. Almost anybody in any situation can apply these lessons to their own lives and increase their positivity. Now, as I've already said, positive thinking offers blessed returns lesser benefits. So the more you practice it, the greater the benefits you will realize. So to underline, create a positive bubble around you, a positive, uh, positive bubble inside your head as well. Increase that look, affirm yourself, say to yourself, hey, I'm great, I'm good. Right, this brings us to the final segment of this episode. And as we, I think, have come to the realization now, positive thinking isn't just a soft and fluffy, feel-good term. You can change, you can't change the world, but you can change how you perceive it and how you react or respond to it. And that can change the way that you feel about yourself and others, which in turn can have a huge effect on your well-being. Yes, it's great to simply be happy. But those moments of happiness are also critical for opening your mind to explore and build the skills that become so valuable in other areas of your life. I fear it's of positive emotions and unended explorations are when you see the possibilities for how your past experiences fit into your future life. When you begin to develop the skills that blossom into useful talents later on, 
and when you spark the urge for further exploration and invention. To put it simply, seek joy, play often, pursue adventure, and your brain will do the rest. Train your mind to think positive. You know, train your mind to think positive by leveraging a simple concept which I'll give to you. Your mind has enough worth to only focus at one thing at a time. Let me give you some simple steps as we close down. All you have to do is keep focusing on uplifting thoughts until you form the same type of psychological pathways that are created when you establish a new habit. Start focusing on uplifting thoughts. And when a negative event of thought occurs, remember your response to that negative thought determines the outcome. If you can change, transform that negative into a positive, it will also impact on your response to that. And always look for a positive response or optimistic lesson when a negative event takes place. I hope you have learned from this session. Listen to it again. You can download this podcast and listen to it as many times as you need to. And I hope that this will all contribute to your personal growth and your development and to a more happier outlook in life. Please follow and like our Facebook page, follow us on Instagram, Twitter, subscribe to our YouTube channel and subscribe to Nakik World Podcast, our social media handle at Nakik World. Until next time, goodbye from a lovely Beijing in mainland China till we meet again.